<laughs> the sexy crab. Please delete this footage. In today's video, we're trying out three cool tricks with bubbles that people have sent to us to ask if they are real. Hey guys, in case you missed it, we've got new winter merch for sale in our shop, like this hoodie. We have a few new options, so go ahead and click the link in the description below to check them out now. Thank you. Guys, we've done a lot of stuff with bubbles. We like bubbles. Bubbles like are fun. Bubbles. And sometimes people seem to like what we're doing with bubbles. And we've had multiple people send us multiple different videos asking if they're real using bubbles. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes people like to fake weird things on the internet. So we want to try and see if we can recreate those and see if we get the real effect. Here's the basic idea. We're going to do our best to recreate the setup scene in three different clips of videos using bubbles. They make some really cool tricks and people have asked us if they're real or camera trickery. We'll try to recreate them as best we can and see if we can determine whether or not they're really possible. First one is, I was sent a video of people making square bubbles. They did this by making a frame that was like a cube and all of the bubbles around the cube sort of joined together to make a smaller inner cube. Somehow inside a smaller version of the cube that you've created, there is a smaller cube-shaped bubble, which seems bizarre to me if it's possible, but we want to find out. To start off, we're going to need six pipe cleaners and six drinking straws. So we're gonna take all of our drinking straws and we're going to cut them in half. I've got marked the halfway point on this straw here. Nice. And here we go. Now these are bendy straws. They don't have to be bendy straws. We have now everything. made something that isn't actually necessary completely useless. But don't bend it. Oh. Now we have 12 pieces of straws, half straws. Straw. Now we're going to cut our pipe cleaners in half as well. So now what we're going to do is separate out our pipe cleaners into okay. bundles of three. And then we take three of them at a time and we're just going to twist the top eh, centimeter or so. Once they're all twisted, we're going to open it up we have one pipe cleaner on the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. It's like the corner of a cube because it is the corner of a cube. So we're, you're just gonna do that with all four sets of three and we're gonna have four of those corners. So now we take our straws okay. and we fit them onto each of our pipe cleaner oh, arms. This is entertaining. It really is. I like this. Now we're going to twist everything together into a cube. Wow, this is a very simple, easy to put together design if it actually works. All right, we've got, well, it's a little lopsided and imperfect in places, but it's still generally cube shaped and that's what we're going for. Now, from what I understand, all you have to do at this point is you dip it down into the liquid, then you have the liquid on all sides and then you drop another bubble down onto it and it causes it to form a cube. Yeah, I've seen multiple ways. That's one of them. That's the first okay. way I've seen. And the other one was just show dipping it into the water and then they just sort of shook it back and forth and they okay. ended up getting the bubble to form in the middle. As the film moved from one side to the other, it would stick to itself. And when they got it doing that from all six sides, I guess it formed a cube. All right. There's that's a square cool. in the middle, so that's a good start. Yeah. All right. I want to blow a bubble directly down onto it. Try and get a bubble right down onto that. Ah! That looks like... Oh my gosh! Okay. Well, it's got an extra side one, but... We have quite a few extra tiny bubbles, but that's a bubble cube. Oh, and oh. it's dead. They don't last forever. Oh, and there <laughs> we go. Okay, I'm just curious. I'm gonna see if I can... Well, now you've put a bubble inside it and you've made it larger. That was my goal, was to just embiggen it. Embiggen it? We have a proof of concept. Yes, you can in fact make a square bubble. It's not going to float off on its own because guys, that's not how it works. Physics. <laughs> However, if you have one of these little things that takes 30 seconds to put together, you can absolutely make some square shaped bubbles. So, proof of concept, this absolutely works. This is awesome. So the second thing that people have sent us 
is a video where people make a bubble sheet. Like they don't blow a sphere bubble out of it, they just stretch the film between a frame and it was square and then they put a little ring of string into it, yeah. pop the middle of it and the string just bounces into this perfect circle that's a hole, like a hole right through the bubble film. So that's what we're gonna try now and for this we need four bendy straws. We're going to bend the bendy straws at a 90 degree angle and then we're going to fit one straw into the next straw, go around until we have a square. We also need some string. We've got here some cotton string. Now this cotton string is actually way too thick for what we need. So yeah, what I'm we want is one of the little it. tiny threads that makes up the string, exactly. Okay. It's still actually bigger than most thread is going to come, so. All right, so now what I believe is the trickiest part is dropping the thread in kind of a circle onto our bubble film. Okay. Okay. Not like that. Oh, wait, but. <laughs> wait, put your finger in. Boom. Ah! Wait, there's still a little loop. Let's see if I can shake that out. What do you mean a loop? That one right there. Oh, well, no, you didn't. <gasps> Beautiful. Squish my hand. Never mind. I'm gonna make a bigger one because that's really so you can cool. Fit your whole hand through. Yes, that I was have a loop to. in a bubble. That was a loop in a bubble. <laughs> we have a soaked string, a larger diameter. Okay, okay, this is better than ones we've had before. Pop. Ah! Okay. Reaching your arm through a bubble. Now I'm thinking with portals. <laughs> My arm is through a portal. All right, so this last one is my absolute favorite. And I learned about it this morning and Nate taught me and... It looks like wizardry, which is why people sent it to us. But there are multiple videos of multiple people pulling this off. So I'm inclined to think it's real, just kind of difficult. We're gonna give it a shot. It involves, Never mind. we'll show you. A big bubble is blown on a wand, like a bubble wand. But after a good sized bubble is blown, then a second bubble is added at the bottom from some mysterious canister. And then another device is used to blow smoke into that second smaller bubble. And then it's removed. And then air is blown into the bubble with no smoke in it. And then that smaller bubble, the membrane between the small bubble and the big bubble pops. And then you have swirling smoke down at the bottom of it. And then something at the top is popped and you see like this reverse tornado form of all the smoke coming up out of the bubble and then it gets lit on fire and you just have the reverse tornado <laughs> coming out of the bubble and fire and it's this whole big beautiful mess and because it it's not amazing. air that you are pumping into it it's butane that's what we've been using is this highly modified butane canister that i added a spray nozzle to and a straw at the end so that we can do things like blow butane bubbles out of it Wow. Close enough! <laughs> it does not look as cool as theirs does. All right, we but we did it. We didn't get quite the same vortex pulling it up. <laughs> There's a bit of a tornado in there. Well, I'm gonna count that as pretty close. That was pretty close. close. I'm worried about your hand, but are you ready? Ready. <laughs> After the bubble was gone, the fire was still there. So I think the keys here would be to have some higher quality bubble soap. Yep. I don't know what the best kind is. Uh, we've tried know. several different recipes. That worked okay. Yeah. I don't know what the magic key is to popping one, because he's able to pass his little and wand it, and it pops through it. one bubble, pops another one, and then back out. That, as far as I'm concerned, might in fact be black magic or there's just some simple technique to it that we don't know. A few people online have sold their soul to the devil for, for bubbles. bubbles. Yeah, it was worth it to them, I think. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, that's not all. You know, we've always got more for you to see. Click that box up the top to check out our most recent video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.